Oh man, this is a vibe. Look at this guy. Too. There's live music on almost like every corner you go to, so you won't ever be bored. Anytime you're in a in a touristic area, make sure you have your belongings with you and be careful because in Europe, pickpockets is a huge thing. These look delicious. We have to try one. Yeah, bro. How much is the juice? We have different sizes. Okay. Three euros, five euros. Okay. Let's do a five euro. Five euro. One or two? No, just one. Right. We'll share it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm talking to you guys from the beautiful city of Athens, Greece. Now, I actually just arrived here. However, I have been here before. I came here about six years ago, but so much has changed in that time. Right now, I'm going to actually walk around. We're going to head from the Ammonia neighborhood, which is actually where I am now over to the Plaka neighborhood, which is like the trendy area where all of the nightlife takes place. And it's located right at the base of the uh, Acropolis, which is where the Parthenon sits on top. So yeah, this here is the Ammonia neighborhood. And to be honest, it's a pretty rough neighborhood. I didn't realize what I was getting myself into until I checked in and my Airbnb host was like, don't walk around too much at night. And I was like, why, why is that? And she's like, oh, well, you know, you're gonna see a lot of strange characters and I didn't know what she meant by that, but now I know. I've been walking around and let me just tell you guys, this whole area is is pretty rough, man. It, it reminds me a lot of like downtown Los Angeles. There are just like syringes everywhere, people getting high everywhere. Um, woman standing absolutely everywhere, selling you know what. So, um, yeah, it's a rougher, rougher part of the city. Now, right now I am with Andrew. What's up guys, how you guys doing? Andrew's been enjoying his time here in Greece so far, but what would you say about this area? Do you think it's rough as well? <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty rough, guys. I've lived in LA my whole life, and I've never seen anything on this level of... Of roughness, of right? Roughness. Like, literally everywhere you walk, you see syringes, caps for the needles, baggies that are empty. Yeah, people shooting up everywhere. Smoking it. It's oh man, I've never it, seen anything like it in my it's life. It's not what you expect to see in a in a city that holds so much history, huh? But I guess it's just like every other big city in the world. Now, you're actually, I'm not gonna show you too much of that side here in this video because to be honest with you guys, well, we had a small stop here right before we were in Santorini and I was out taking some pictures. Yeah. Not of anybody specifically, but Man, some guy came up and he had a pipe in his hand. Not like a uh, plumbing pipe, but like a uh, pipe that you used to smoke. And yeah, dude came up to me and I had a feeling that he, he thought I was recording. Yeah. So we don't want any problems. We're not gonna deal with that today. But um, yeah, actually right here, you can see just a small little glimpse of exactly what I was talking about. I mean, there are just people on every corner, just like this here in this neighborhood. And it's pretty, it's pretty rough to see. But today, we're not going to talk about some, uh, that so much. We're going to highlight the beauty of this city because, I mean, it's very vibrant. There's a lot to do. There's kiosks just like this absolutely everywhere. And I've been finding this pretty interesting. I mean, they sell literally everything. I don't know if this is a medicine shop, tobacco shop, or a, a clothing, uh, clothing shop because they sell like backpacks. Yeah, they do have good deals. You find a lot of stuff for like one, two, three euro. Also kiosks just like this one that sell all kinds of uh, beverages, snacks, sunglasses, and there's even plenty of nice little restaurants to sit around and enjoy a nice meal. Now we actually just got done eating at this little bakery here. It's super delicious. You can find some very traditional um, Greek favorites, but also a lot of uh, pastries, croissants, even ice cream, Greek ice cream. So it's pretty nice. Yeah, Athens, it's a very, it's a very trendy city, but just like most big cities in the world, um, it also has its rough sides. And I'm noticing that this is actually very popular here as well. The rotisserie chicken, they're sold everywhere. And you won't believe how affordable it is. It's literally five euros. Now, Santorini, we didn't find it to be crazy expensive, but things did add up quite quick. Yeah. Here in Athens, man, it is very affordable. We've been eating, well, last night for dinner, we, we ate for 20 euros together. Actually, less. We ate burgers, fries, and a drink for, for less than 20 euros. And then right now, I had a traditional Greek dish called pasticcio, which is delicious. It's almost like a, I'll show it to you guys in a food video that I make here in the, in the next few days. But I had a pasticcio, 
It was incredible. It was six euro, and you had a? I had a carbonara. Pretty much stick it to my pasta. I don't know if you guys know, but I never even did. I stick to my pasta. <laughs> he loves pasta, but to be honest with you guys, he doesn't He doesn't do wrong. The carbonara that we had here, I tasted it. It was probably, it was better than the one we had in Rome. Yeah, for sure. It was better. They're not stingy with anything. They give you a lot of pasta, and they filled it up with whatever pork was in there. It was just... Yeah, here in, here in Greece, they love the meat, and they're not stingy with the meats. That's why I love this country. It's such a great place to go, especially if you like to eat meat. And if you're like a vegetarian, vegan, they got something for you too. I mean, they got so much, um, so many different types of salads, uh, a lot of dishes that are um, vegetarian based. So you shouldn't have any problems. But yeah, look at the kiosk right now. Unfortunately, there's all kinds of bad news on the newspapers, but I mean, that's pretty standard, I guess, around the world. However, I'm sure you guys know what's going on in the world right now. I'm not getting into anything political or even talking about where I stand in that whole thing. It's just, man, let's just hope that things get better because a lot of innocent lives are being lost right now and no one wants to see that, man. No one wants to see that. Yes, that's the people that are losing their lives right now. They're someone's mother, someone's daughter, someone's son, someone's brother. And, you know, people love those people. So. Let's just hope things get better. But yeah, the public transportation here in Athens as well is pretty damn good. They got buses everywhere. They got a subway system, metro system, and they they even connect all to the airports. We actually made it from the airports to the city center for five euro on a on a bus, on an airport bus. And the airport bus is actually very convenient because it takes literally one hour if you're not sitting in traffic to get from the airport to here and it's only five euro however they also have a train system as well that brings you straight here to ammonia square for literally um two euros so these here are the entrances to the metro stations and this square is ammonia square this here is um why this name of or this area of the city has its name and yeah i gotta be very careful where i film because let me just tell you guys, yesterday night when we were walking around here, this whole square was filled with women trying to take you home for a few minutes. So, um, if you're looking for that, this is where you're going to find it. And a lot it. of suspicious characters. <laughs> and a lot of suspicious characters, yes. A lot of interesting characters, to say the least. But, um, this fountain, I'm not sure why it's off now that I'm filming, but it's actually very beautiful. And I think it, I don't know, is it a nighttime thing? I could have sworn I just seen it while we were eating. I see it on right now. Maybe, Maybe we like should wait a second. But this fountain is beautiful. And the best part about being in Greece, well, of course, is all of the Greek history. So you see, like, um, facts and what do, you, what do you call it? Like, yeah, informational stuff about Greek history everywhere. Now, if you're looking for a nice hotel to stay to, right now we're in an Airbnb. But the very first night in Athens when we were... When we showed up here late just to catch the ferry to Santorini, we stayed in a place called Novus. Novus, yeah, Novus. Novus City. N-O-V-U-S. Wow. Amazing rooms. Just a great hotel for 70 bucks, but it is in the hood. It's right here. But you got a rooftop view of the Acropolis, which we're actually going to head to here in a minute. But yeah, guys, Athens is beautiful. Okay, this fountain isn't going to turn back on anymore. All right. Well... Just imagine water coming out of there. Psst, psst. Oh man, <laughs> I feel like my whenever I'm filming a video, that happens. Terrible. All right. Well, we're gonna start weaving our way down now into the oh, um, into the city center. Ah, uh, oh, got you guys. He got me. He got me. Into the city center, and um, you're gonna see the contrast right now on how how different the city looks. Even though, to be honest with you guys. This area is super beautiful as well and you haven't really seen the rough parts who knows maybe i'll make that video for you guys later on this week show you guys that side of of athens greece a side that people don't oftentimes talk about because i feel like it is very important to note and you know if you come to athens and you end up there without knowing it could probably ruin your trip because there are just I'm not even over exaggerating. There are syringes everywhere. There are people cooking stuff out of a pipe. There are people smoking meth. Like we watched a guy breaking down a pill yesterday and crushing it into a powder to put it in a spoon. Oh man, it's 
it's yeah. rough. You it almost hear, you feels like a. Just leave right away, but just explore a little bit more, and it gets a lot better. It gets a lot better. Just wait till I show you guys the nightlife here, which should be good tomorrow night. So we'll make sure to document that well for you guys. But yeah, there's also taxis everywhere, Uber. You know, you're in a big European city. Um, Greek, Greece, for those of you guys who don't know, it's part of the EU. So here they use the Euro. Um, and you find pretty much all your, your favorite things that you find everywhere else in Europe. Not like, you know, a few other Balkan countries. Here you're gonna find it all. But yeah, look at these kiosks. I mean, they're just very interesting because you can literally pull up, you can buy a drink, you can buy a belt, a mouse for your computer. This has been there for ages. I don't know, that'll work. <laughs> and yeah, clothing. They're interesting. We don't have these in America. Nope. So they're very interesting. The like, thing we got is a 7-Eleven. A 7-Eleven and they're taxing but yeah unfortunately you see you know a lot of people like this on the streets which is very unfortunate but coming from Los Angeles we've seen it all or at least we thought we have until we came here um, yeah I, I don't want to go in too much on like what we saw last night but I'll save that for another video but Oh Whatever man, it is, if you guys see me it's crazy. A lot, it's because I'm just trying to be careful not to step on any needles because it really is. It's that bad. It's that bad. It's that bad. There's orange caps everywhere. I was telling Andrew, you know, not even in Skid Row, it's this bad. Um, it reminded me a lot more of like Kensington, Pennsylvania. That's what that reminds me of. So just have that in mind. Wow, you know what? I think this is going to be a nice little, mar a little streets for like a, a market video. Look, this man sells light bulbs, watches, knives. Glasses. Glasses, tissues. Light bulbs. Yeah, more light bulbs. Over here you can buy, you know, some games. And if you're a, if you love to eat, Greece is gonna be that country for you because the bakeries, they're literally everywhere and they're so delicious and very affordable. And the food, as I was mentioning, it's, it's top notch. It's up there with, you know, my favorites. Like, it's up there with the Indian, the Thai, the Mexican. It's up there. It's really good. I find it interesting that like so many of the shops like pretty much come out into the streets. But I'll tell you what, the contrast is quite different walking around here during the day and then walking around these streets at night. I mean, it's literally <laughs> night and day. It's completely different. Wow, what kinds of fresh nuts? Look, some fresh, um, I'm not sure what those are. Greens. Some greens. Like this here is like the um, the Ace Hardware Store. You got the WD-40, the lights. But yeah, right now it's the second week, almost going into the third week of October, guys, and weather is beautiful in the evenings you need to wear a sweater but during the day it's just so enjoyable it actually there's a couple hours of the day um, that I realized yesterday that just gets extremely hot and same on the island but October I must say this has to be the best time of year to visit Greece it's just beautiful out the streets are not as full with tourists as you're as you as you would typically see in the in the summer months wow look at this fresh bread you got some honeycomb here. These sesame bars. My friends gave me these in Santorini. They were very delicious. Shoe stores. So yeah, if you want to avoid crowds and you know explore Europe before that, before the cold gets here, man, October might be the best, might be the best month. This is my first time in Europe in the month of October, and I think, hands down, that the next few years. Whenever I come back to Europe, it's always going to be either in the springtime before the the heat comes on in, or in the um, in the fall because this is perfect. Yeah, don't make the same mistake we did and bring your sweaters because you're just going to end up holding them half the time. Exactly. That's why we just left them at the house today. It was a little chilly when we left for breakfast, but it's warming up now. It's beautiful. It feels it feels like a July day. Yeah. Honestly, it's super nice. 
Now, this plaza, I'm not too sure exactly what it's called, but you'll see many plazas here in this video. I mean, they are absolutely everywhere. And guys, this here is a huge thing. These sightseeing buses. These are the double-decker buses, and I actually saw the prices for them online. They're very affordable. They're 25 euro for the day. And they actually take you between Athens and Piraeus, which is actually the um, port town where all of the cruise ships come on in and also where you're going to be catching the ferries to the islands. So um, maybe, maybe a good option for you, especially if, you know, you can't walk all that much. Athens is one of those cities that you're going to be clocking in some miles getting around. So probably a good option. And to be honest, even myself, as someone that's been here before, I might end up doing it. I mean, check this out. Look, they got all kinds of different tours. They have the sunset to the temple of Poseidon an all-day cruise on a pirate ship, Delphi Ruins, Cape Sunin. You can even go down to Mykonos just for the day. Wow, that's fascinating. Myk Mykonos and Santorini, two-day trips. Yeah, there's something for everybody. So if you're here on a short time, there's, n there's absolutely no reason why you can't, if you're in Greece for five days, there's absolutely no reason why you can't spend two in Athens, go to an island for two, and come back for a few more hours. And to be honest, I think that's the best way to do it. I think that's the best way to do it. We spend quality time everywhere because we obviously work online and make these videos and film these videos. But I think Athens is a nice city to, yeah, I think, well, if I'm going to be honest, I think three, four days is good. I think it's good. I think two is a little too short because there's a lot to do. You also want to relax, just sit down at a restaurant, enjoy the views. But you also don't need more than three or four. If you're staying longer than that, it's because you just want to party <laughs> let's be honest which there's nothing wrong with that but yeah it's quite crazy how you go from everything being extremely local local shops and you guys are gonna see right now how it just changes to everything dedicated to tourism here in a second but yeah a lot of cute coffee shops you got people drinking their Turkish coffee it's beautiful. I love how they come in those little things. I watched the video and they put it in sand. It's like ever going coffee that just keeps yeah. coming up. Turkish coffee. Yeah, that's beautiful to see. Oh wow, this here is a, a big market. Look, this is like a meat market of some sort. Wow. Should we walk on in here? I think so. I don't think I've ever been here before. Oh man. Yeah, if I lived here, this is where I would be. Don't get mad in the comments though, okay? Don't <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give me no animal cruelty comments, all right? A few days ago, I made a video sitting on top of a camel. And people are like going off on me because I sat on a camel. Like if camels haven't been used for thousands of years to transport people and goods through the deserts. I don't understand. Anything, that camel has a good job. He's not doing all that. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's good. He's chilling. He's chilling. Wow. It doesn't get much fresher than that, seriously. And look, there's all kinds of like meat restaurants here as well. Wow, this is awesome to see. Yeah, this is cool. I hadn't walked through here before. So it's nice to see, you know, where the locals go and purchase their meat. And let me just tell you guys, I've been in butchers, markets everywhere in the world, and this here is by far one of the cleanest that I've ever seen. Actually, and to be honest with you guys, you have seen it here on the channel. This is the first time I'm actually walking through a butcher shop, a meat market, and no one's telling me, don't film. I don't know why, everywhere in the world, when you walk into a meat market, Andrew's gonna learn this, especially in Asia. They hate it when you film. They don't know why. I might have an idea. <laughs> yeah, he might have an idea, but yeah, we're gonna head on out now to um, out through this door. But yeah, great market. I mean, we got we got butcher shops in the U.S. To be honest, like in, in L.A., we have like the Mexican meat markets and stuff, but I think on this it, it's not on this level though. You don't have like the whole like a whole lamb hanging up on the on the steaks or you know the chickens but to be honest I, per, I think I prefer this yeah like it's so fresh you can 
can literally see how fresh it is. Like, yeah. Right there, right there. It's super nice. And um, based off of what I'm seeing, the prices are actually quite affordable as well. All right. Well, nice little tour to a, through a Greek uh, meat market. Let me know what you guys thought of that. And what other um, countries around the world have you guys been to where, you know, the meat presentation is like this? I'm curious. What are they making over here? Oh, gyros, huh? Gyros and kebabs. If you guys haven't had a gyros, you've never lived, my friends. I was very skeptical my first gyro, but I've, it's become one of my favorite foods now. It is. It's delicious, isn't it? Yeah. And it just, you know, it has everything you want on a plate inside of a wrap. It's perfect. You got the salads, the meats, the fries, the tzatziki. If you've never had tzatziki, Oh man, find yourself a nice local Greek restaurant near you and get yourself a big plate of that because you're gonna go crazy. All right, so now we're slowly entering like the very touristic area. This is where you're gonna find a lot of the tourists hanging out, a lot of very trendy restaurants, but we actually walked around here last night as well for a few minutes. And this here is also where you're gonna find all of the locals like hanging out at night, which yeah. you'll see that later on. Um, as time goes on, I have a feeling that during the day right now, you're gonna find more tourists than anything. But in the evening, very few tourists and a whole lot of local people out here enjoying the vibes of these streets. But just look at the contrast, guys. Look at um, where we just came out of to this. I mean, it goes from being, you know, semi-rough or, all right, all right, let's not, let's not be nice. Let's not, pretty rough, all right? It's pretty rough to just gorgeous, like extremely gorgeous. You got these beautiful Orthodox church here in the middle. It says here that this is the church of Aia Paraskevi. Wow, that is beautiful. And then yeah, you've got a lot of like, um, well here are clothing shops, but they're slowly, slowly, as we inch our way forward, they're gonna be turning into um, souvenir shops. Wow, this church is gorgeous. And these little streets, um, they really remind me of like the Parisian vibes, like Paris or Barcelona. Yeah, it like, does look like a little Paris vibe right here. It does. The buildings are shaped the same way. Like, like a the, triangle, the triangle, like an odd shaped triangle. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's not like a tri, look, I'll like show you guys like this, you know, like a building of Times Square. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh man, this is a vibe. Look That's at this guy. Too. There's live music on almost like every corner you go to, so you won't ever be bored. You ever be bored. Sit down and listen to some, you know, good music. Man, this is a vibe, guys. Look at this. I'm gonna have to end the video and just sit down right here and just enjoy this music. No, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I'm not gonna do that to you guys. This video is too short. 20 minutes. Come on. If you guys made it to this point, you guys, you guys need to leave me a comment and be like, yeah, Chris, thank you so much, bro. Keep going. All right, let's give this man some tips. Beautiful vibes, huh, guys? Yeah, so if you're looking for this corner, just look up that cafe, Folk. Folk Coffee. Man, this is great. Look, let me actually show you guys um, a little menu to show you guys some little prices. Look, you can get a grilled vegetable platter for $9.50, Greek salad for $8.50. Grilled octopus for 17 euros. Seafood, um, what? Seafood, yeah, like soup for 18. I think this is a bad example though, because we've seen a lot cheaper so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a bad example. But, you know, even in the most trendy of neighborhoods, it's still good. Though. You can still get some good priced food, like a pork shavaki for 12, but in other places, this is like 8. Um, I ate a bolognese yesterday. I had it for 7. 7? Seven. Seven. 3 so, euro cheaper. It's not too bad. But, but to be honest, <laughs> yeah. it's probably better to spend the extra three and have it here than to have it like two yeah, blocks up the road that's, that's true. to be honest with you guys so hey sometimes it is what it is and andrew also had a slice of pizza from here last night oh this is the spot this is the spot yeah i really recommend this pizza guys we, we we purchased some pizza from here yesterday and, and it was very place. delicious especially at night at night it was good vibes Ooh. out here 
We'll see you guys again later. <laughs> Good people, man. The Greek people are super fun, man. Um, and don't sit down at a restaurant and order one drink of Rocky because you will not have one. You'll have always like come back again with more and more. And it's a never-ending cycle. And when they're cool, and we've only gotten cool waiters, they always give you another one right before you leave. Yeah. On the house. On the house, always. But yeah, guys, the streets here are gorgeous in this little area. They're super beautiful. Now, I notice um, here in this country, man, they're heavy smokers. Almost reminds me of like my time spent in Serbia, where everybody started their like their day off with a, a cappuccino and a cigarette. I feel like that's what a Greek breakfast is, a cappuccino and a cigarette. Or better yet, um, uh, an espresso and a cigarette. Not even a croissant. Not even a croissant. <laughs> They just have a little espresso and a smoke. Wow, what a beautiful place. You also find a lot of like street artists, people doing local art like that. It's gorgeous to be honest. I'm glad that I'm here for six days because my first time in Greece, we only did three nights here and in Athens and I feel like I'm really gonna get to enjoy this place I mean look at all these small little restaurants and you'll see why these restaurants are all super special here in a second because right in front of us we're gonna have one of them one of the most iconic views in the city and probably undoubtedly in the world if I must be honest yeah just good vibes I mean, a lot of people hanging out, enjoying the nice weather. Everywhere you go, there's just like plazas like this where you can just sit down and gather. You know what I'm saying? I mean... It's cool to see that people still actually socialize because where we come from, <laughs> everybody's just on their phone and not socializing at all. Yeah, and um, where we live, it's not a big scene to like eat outside. Everybody takes their food to go or orders yeah. it on Uber Eats and just Or eat people that. just eat in their car. <laughs> like, yeah, it's very antisocial. All right. So here is the Acropolis. I'm not sure if you guys can see it all the way, but the Acropolis is the... Ah, I'll, show you, I'll show you guys right now as we get closer. I have a feeling that the camera won't do it justice. Thank you. This is actually where we ate last night. They had this burger restaurant here called Pax. Very good food. But they have all kinds of trendy foods. Like you got, um, you know, some Chinese wok over here. You got the traditional gyros that are like, you know, a little bit more bougie. A gelato shop, a pizzeria. Some more clothing stores. You're also going to find the big stores here like the H&M and all of that. You also have, look, a, a place that sells, you know, hot dogs, chicken wings. We even saw a Mexican restaurant last night around here. A boba tea restaurant here. Who doesn't like a bubble tea? Bubble teas are always hit, always hit the spots. But yeah, guys, right there in front of me is the Parthenon, one of the most famous monuments in the world. And we will be making it up there later on this week. You got the view of the Parthenon. Now, the hill that it's actually sitting on top of is the Acropolis. A lot of people confuse the Acropolis as the Parthenon and the Parthenon as the Acropolis. But no, it is in fact the Acropolis with the Parthenon on top and of course many other temples as well but yeah you find a lot of people asking for money around these areas I'm okay thank you you find a lot of people asking for money in these areas so uh, you know anytime you're in a in a touristic area make sure you have your belongings with you and be careful because in Europe pickpockets is a huge thing granted you're not gonna I don't think you have any danger to run into like it's good vibes just Pete you got to be careful I've like everywhere else. Though, so. yeah a lot of people have been giving us the warnings but I also have had a lot of friends that I've gotten pickpocketed in, in Paris, in Brussels. Uh, my friend Jake, <laughs> sorry Jake. <laughs> my friend Jake, shout, hey, yo, shout out Jake, the best, best Instagram photographer. Um, but my, but my boy Jake, the first day we, we met up in Berlin, he got pickpocketed on the train, so be careful. That, it, could, it could really ruin, a, ruin your time. All right, you know what? I think later on, we're gonna come and do a little market hunt around here, and I'm gonna have to get myself one of these. Look, they got corn, chestnuts. And now we're really getting into like 
you know, the oldest part of the city that is also just incredibly modern now as well. Now, I remember being here a few years ago. Oh, I thought that was, I thought that was a lot closer than I, than, <laughs> than I felt it was. It was pretty close though, huh? Yeah. I just made someone's day right now. They just saw me like, they just saw me go crazy over a pigeon. But yeah, but they come at you fast, man. But yeah, look, you got the H&M. All the big stores are here in this area as well. But oh man, I lost my train of thoughts. However, you know what? We're just gonna, yeah, the pigeon took the tr my train of thoughts. But look at this little Orthodox church. Now this one here is definitely, this one here has seen some stuff. And here in Greece, they're actually really good at putting like um, informational um, plaques in front of all the monuments. Vlog, vlog. Yo, Hello. what's good, bro? Yo, what's up? Where are you from? <laughs> the U.S., California. The US, California. And you? I Athens. 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 Albanian, Albanian, hey, Albanian, Greece. Okay, Albania is the shit. I like Albania. You are a YouTuber? Yeah, man. You don't like What's your channel? Here, let me give it to you. I got a card. Give me a card. You from Where Albania. are you from in Albania? Uh, a Tirana? Tirana? Oh, bro, Tirana's good vibes. Good vibes in Tirana. And you? I'm, uh, I'm from Skoder. From Skoder? Yeah. Okay. So you're like on the border of like Montenegro? Yeah. Oh, okay. Very nice. Georgia. You're from Georgia. Um, Tilebisi? Where? Oh, okay. Man, very nice. Georgian food is good. Hey, Georgian food, Greek food, they're up there. They're, they're, good. they're really good. Nice meeting you. Yeah, bro. Next week it comes out on YouTube. Yes. Take care, guys. Take care. Can I ask something? Oh, no. Yeah, man. What's your name on YouTube? Travel with Chris. Okay, thanks, man. Yeah, man. Take care, guys. Take care. Oh. Take care. Take care, man. Bye. Yeah, good people, man. Good people everywhere. And the kids, man, they love YouTube. But yeah, man, Albania is the shit. I'm dying to go back. I've been trying to tell Andrew, Albania <laughs> is the place to go. But yeah, man, look at this beautiful church. Beautiful Orthodox church. Sorry about that. It's gorgeous. Just right here in the middle of this, in the middle of this shopping center, or what now is a shopping center. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, that looked rough, huh? See, but, you know, I don't know. I just feel like here, it's rough to see. It's just things that you wouldn't expect to see, you know? In Los Angeles, we see a lot of this too, but I feel like, um, not to this extent, man. I feel like this is very much comparable. The city, what you see around the streets is very much comparable to like, you know, the videos I've seen of Kensington. I've never been there yet. But, yeah, guys, I mean, there still is a lot of beauty. A lot of beauty to admire. It's just that I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cut anything out of these videos because, man, you guys have to see it how, how it is. Because, you know, a lot of people don't expect this out of Greece, but it's very much a reality. It's just that there's people just struggling everywhere in the world these days, and it's only gonna continue to get worse as, um, yeah, drugs are, are just being more easily accessible, uh, mental illness, um, economy. Shit's expensive everywhere, man. I mean. People end up on the streets, then you end up trying something for the first time, and it ends up really, 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 really ruining your life, so. All right, let's continue now. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. And they actually have these little booths as well. This is a good little tip to keep in mind. This is a Vodafone booth, so you can actually come up there. You need your passport, though. So, um, yeah, you can go up there with your passports, uh, get a SIM card, and then take your passport back home because I never recommend walking around with them anywhere. It's just dangerous. But pretty much everywhere you go in the world, you need the passport to obtain a SIM card. So don't waste your time walking from Ammonia because you've seen the Vodafone booth in my video all the way here and without your passport because it's just going to be a waste of time. But look, they got a TJI Fridays. And it's quite funny because our Airbnb host in Santorini was like, everybody in Greece loves TGI Fridays because it's the only place that gives you free refills. And me and Andrew looked at each other. Well, I'm obviously very well traveled now, but Andrew was like, he doesn't really thought about it. Like, oh yeah, we do do re free refills in the US, but- hey, literally everywhere you go. Everywhere. Nowadays they're starting to charge you 50 cents, but you know, it comes with- Because things are expensive. <laughs> and to be honest, 
you know, sometimes you sit there and you drink three or four sodas. So. But it's also not good for you. It's probably a better thing they don't get free refills over here because then you're going to go buy a water. So. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I agree with you. Let's not let's not um, normalize free refills. I'm going to blame the free refills on, on, on this right here. <laughs> oh, man. Good excuse. I'm going to start using that one. When people are, people are, people are going to be like, man, Chris, you're getting chunky. I'm like, bro, I live in America. Free refills. What do you mean? Obviously. I drink three sodas every time I sit down. No, not really. I'm not even a big soda guy. And when I do, I just drink Coke Zero, which doesn't make it any better. It's still just as bad, but I drink Coke Zero, and I'd much rather drink, to be honest, and, and it's probably a lot worse, I'd much rather drink, like, yeah, smoothies and juices and stuff like that. I really love those. Oh, man, this is a street right here. This looks like a nice little souvenir hunt street. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually walk down this one, Andrew. Wow, these are beautiful. I'm gonna have to get some postcards for the members from here as well. I got some in Rome a few weeks ago and I'm actually sending them out from Greece because we only had a layover there. But I'll be sending some some postcards to uh, members here on the channel very, very soon. So do be on, the, be on the lookout for those because they are coming. But yeah, these streets are gorgeous, guys. I'm on the lookout for one thing, a Sparta hat. What do you want? A Sparta hat, like the helmet. Yeah, the helmet. That would be cool. Not a big one because we can't take it. You know? Look, they already got the messy jerseys everywhere, man. Yeah, a lot of music shops as well because as you heard, like here, they really love the music. Now this city, you know, it's such, such a historical place that everywhere you walk around, you get the same vibes that you, that you get. Um, like like in a city like Rome, I mean, look at this, just uh, ancient Greek and Roman ruins everywhere. So yeah, I'll be showing you guys a lot more of like um, the ruin side of, of all of this. Look at the beautiful Acropolis right behind me. It's gorgeous. I'll be showing you guys a lot more of these over the course of the next few days because Andrew and I are actually going to be heading up there maybe tomorrow or the day after and we'll do some serious exploring here in this area to show you guys all of that. But of course, I wanted to show you that there is very much a city that exists here because when I first came traveling like six years ago, Greece was the very, one of the very first countries I had went to, in uh, the very first in Europe, but I had went to Australia, New Zealand and flew here and I had only known about like all the historical sites here. So I thought I was, I don't know, going to a place that was just like completely lost back in time and that there was nothing there. And that turned out to be completely false. This place is wild and there's literally something for everybody. But it's now, true though, because in the pictures that I see online, it just looks like it's in the middle of nowhere when it's really not. Yeah, exactly. It's a, city right behind it's a big city. So yeah, just keep that in mind. All right, let's weave through a, f a few more of these little streets and we're not gonna do any shopping in this video because I'm gonna come back here and go on a huge souvenir spree Maybe you should and <laughs> yeah I'll show you guys a couple little things like look I mean look everybody loves these they're they're gorgeous it's a bottle opener <laughs> these are cat these are what is this soap those are soaps <laughs> five lucky subscribers are gonna be receiving five of those no, no, I won't be sending those to you guys. Don't, don't get too excited now. But yeah, these these little um, streets are beautiful. Look, good thing we didn't buy Santorini magnets in Santorini. I bought one. You bought one? Yeah, this is beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful little bazaar. We'll come back here later on this week and do some some serious shopping that's for sure oh Andrew they got the hats there like oh, the yeah. Sparta helmet to be honest it's that's the only downside to when you when you, once you've traveled so much is you, you get to everywhere and and everything's the same all the all the same souvenirs exist everywhere in the world literally Tunisia is the same literally the same the, all the same stuff like I don't know they all get it from Morocco or Turkey actually Turkey Morocco and here and everywhere else and now they probably just all get it from China 
I gotta be more realistic. <laughs> We should look at the little souvenirs and see what, because they always say made in China. Yeah, they always say made in China. Yeah, I can't even tell you how many, like, items I've purchased that, um, you know, the vendors are like, oh, it's made here locally, and then I actually pick it up, tip it upside down, and it says, made in Bangladesh. And I'm like, that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. But yeah, guys, absolutely beautiful. And you can see why I, why I say you need a few days here because we're really just running through it. But, you know, you, you find yourself weaving in and out of stores, at a coffee shop, you get some lunch, and, oh, man, those do look delicious. You know what? We're going to get one of those. We'll get one of those on the next one. You want one now? Get one now. Get one now. Hello. Hi. These look delicious. We have to try one. Yeah, bro. How much is the juice? Different sizes. Okay. Pro euros, five euros. Okay. Let's do a five euro. Five euro. One or two? No, just one. Right. We'll share it. It's because we're we are we are running around and eating everything today. Good. Man, this is a beautiful little uh, smoothie place, huh? Oh, you guys have to stop in here because not only does it look beautiful, but once you walk in, it smells incredibly good as well. You know, it's funny that we saw this because two days ago somebody told me that the, some of the best pomegranates are from here. It's very true. Right, right. The best is from here. Good. Wow. Very right. Yeah, where I live, they're not like that red. They're more like a, they're white with a little red. You know? Yeah, there are many types. Many types. Yeah. It's good season right now. Yeah. This is called wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. There's another one called Eliona. That one is white in color. Eliona. Eliona. That one is sweet. Okay. More sweet. This one is wonderful. The best. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah Thank you, know, you so much. Enjoy. It. Enjoy your day, bro. You too. Oh, and there's some. They put some ice in there as well. Go, go for it. it. Give it a go first. Give the viewers what they want. You know? <laughs> Let's try this. That is very nice. You know, we had one in Tunisia, what, two weeks ago? Um, I actually had a few while I was in Tunisia. But this one here, don't unfollow me, my people from Tunisia, but this is good. And I think it's because he actually put ice in it. And it's nice, and it's not sweet. It's more, it's you get a little bit of sweetness, but it's more tart. And it has like a little, not bitter. Or bitter. But, yeah, bitter. Oh, it's good. And another thing, we, shout out to Pension George again. They brought us out a nice little pomegranate and we ate it over there best pomegranate I've ever had like that's true and that one was more white it was more it was white, more white in color. but when you opened it the um the inside the, the pomegranate uh, we call it like granadilla in Spanish but no no man, you it's guys super know what I'm good. talking about like when in the states a lot of times I get a pomegranate and it kind of tastes like like alcohol like really it has like a weird like liquor taste right here I have a this man's it. weird bro <laughs> no, <I'm just> saying. <laughs> I believe him I believe him we all got different taste buds wow I didn't you know, we walked around here last night, but this is why I'm saying you got to see this area like it, uh, throughout different times of the day because right now they even have like all kinds of vendors out here selling um, fresh fruit. Oh man, we're going to go on a crazy hunt here in the next few days. Stay tuned for that video. We're going to buy absolutely everything. Let me know down in the comment section, what should the budget be for the market video? Should we do 100 euro, 200 euro? 300 euro let me know down below because we're gonna spend the money we're gonna go crazy and if you guys actually let me know down in the comment section what you recommend I spend then I know that you guys love me a lot and made it all the way to the end of this video so you know what I think here though in this little square is where I'm gonna be ending the video today thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate your support so much like there's even another little Vodafone booth here in this location and um, another little Orthodox Church a lot of rooftops I recommend if you come to Athens get yourself a rooftop and you know what 
I was actually thinking that would be a good video idea as well. Visiting one of like the most iconic rooftops and just having a nice luxury dinner with the view of the Acropolis because it does light up at night. Extremely yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it crazy. It's, it, can't even explain it. it it's, it's amazing. So, look, let me give you guys one more view. This here is the view of ancient Greece. Incredible, right? Incredible place. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sorry, it did, it did, we did start off a little bit rough, but I gotta show you guys both sides. It's the only way to actually give you guys proper reviews and show you guys these places properly. A lot of people only want to show you guys the extreme luxury areas, the extremely touristic areas, but you gotta see both sides because that's really where you can, you can really understand um, that Athens is just like every other major city in the world. There's a lot of um, big businesses here, huge companies, a lot of um, trendy areas, but there's also some areas that are just extremely rough and where there is a lot of poverty. It still very much is a reality of this part of the world. All right, well, for now, let's go eat something or? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm not gonna show you guys that just yet because you guys gotta wait for the food videos, but um, I am gonna make a video running around the city and showing you guys you know, a little bit of all of the traditional Greek food. It's just that I like I like these videos a lot more. I like showing you guys, you know, um, these places raw, so that you can feel like you're actually here with me. Because when I'm when I'm making these videos, I feel like I'm traveling with all of you guys, like right behind me. Like we're just all on a group tour, and that's that's what makes these videos super special. So, uh, thank you guys so much. Um, see you guys again here in a few days to explore more of Athens. We got a market hunt on the way. We, we're gonna visit the Parthenon and the Acropolis, and who knows? We might do a lot more because the weather is just it it's really gorgeous right out here. right now. Yeah. Later, guys. You're